It's felt food with Kanika Creations. This tutorial strawberry mousse. So what you'll need is these felt colors, light pink, red, and chocolate brown. You'll also need the corresponding embroidery threads. You'll need to cut out some templates, so you'll need two circles of the same size. These have radius of three centimeters. With the rectangular pieces, you, they have a length of 18.5 centimeters. The smaller one has a width of 1.5 centimeters and the large one 4.2 centimeters. You should be able to wrap the rectangle around the circle perfectly. So the big rectangular piece is cut out from the light pink felt. The small rectangular piece, the chocolate brown felt. You'll also need to cut out a circle from the chocolate brown felt and another circle from the red felt. So these are the pieces that you should have. Now we're going to create little dots on the strawberry piece because in strawberry mousse you find that there's little callus thingies. So get some raspberry colored thread and take two pieces, two strands from your embroidery thread. Make dots through the whole piece and then we're gonna attach it with the thin brown piece. We're gonna do this by putting right sides together and going along with a neutral colored thread which you won't be able to see on the, your finished product, and doing a running stitch across the bottom. Now, it's actually a good idea to do back stitch, but at the time I kind of forgot. So if you forget like me, you can go through the holes. Doing a back stitch makes it more secure. Now we're gonna fold our piece in half, right sides together again, and do a running stitch across there, or back stitch. Once you've done this, turn your strawberry mousse thing inside out and it should look like this. Fold the brown part down. You should have this round thing. Now we're gonna put the red circle on the top. The way we're gonna do this is doing a blanket stitch. If you don't know how to do a blanket stitch, don't worry. So get two strands of your embro red embroidery thread, go through the middle and th then through both pieces of felt and you'll see a little hole right there. Put your needle through this little hole and pull. So basically to continue your blanket stitch, you go through both pieces of felt, get a little hole, put your needle through the little hole and pull. As I said, there are many tutorials on this on YouTube. Now we need to get some cardboard and cut out the template shapes again to make our felt food more sturdy. You'll actually need two circles. As you can see, it's more sturdy now. Fill your felt food with polyester filling, which is just toy stuffing. And then we're gonna put the brown piece on top, the brown circle. Do this doing a blanket stitch again. And when you're about halfway around the circle, Get your second piece of cardboard, the circle, and push it in. If you need to, you may need to put more toy stuffing. Otherwise, continue your blanket stitch around, and then when you finish, you should get this. The base of your strawberry mousse. Now we're going to make the decoration on top of the strawberry. You'll need the following template pieces. So the height of the strawberry half is equal to the height of the outer strawberry section. You'll need it in the following colors. Red, light, pink, and white. The inner strawberry section goes on top of the outer. So as you can see, there are little lines on the template and I'm gonna do this using just white thread. And then I'm with the remainder of the thread, I'm gonna sew on using a overcast stitch, the little white piece onto the pink piece. Basically after this, 
your inner slash outer strawberry piece should look like that. Now we're going to sew little beads onto the red quadrant. I'm using seed beads or some of you may call it micro marbles. And basically you just go and sew it on like so. This creates the seed effect that you can find on strawberries. I sewed about six marble, I mean six beads on, sorry. When you're done, you should now have two pieces that look like this. We're going to join them together. Grab some red embroidery thread and across the arc of the this piece of felt, we're going to just do a running stitch. Just a running stitch. And then when you're done, pull the thread to make it tighter. This makes the strawberry shape as shown in the video. Now we're going to take the other piece of the strawberry and sew it on using overcast stitch to the red part. When you're almost done, don't complete it, but leave the open, leave an opening so you can put some polyester filling inside to make the strawberry puffy. And then continue your overcast stitch to close up the strawberry. Now you can leave your strawberry like this, but I'm going to put a little leaf on the end. So cut out a piece from green felt and using green embroidery thread. Sew the leafy green part of the strawberry onto your strawberry. Once you're done, we're gonna, I made two by the way, put the strawberry on the mousse using PVA glue, all craft glue. So I organized my two strawberries and put them on, but glue wasn't strong enough, so I actually sewed them on afterwards. Once you're done, it should look like this. La la! This was a Cardigan creation by Jess, Strawberry Moose.